Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a rusty metal material. So, let's do this. First thing first, what we need is a pattern. I used break generator node with these settings x and y on 5 with a little bit of bevel 13 and 15. And that's it. That's all. And about the pattern, it's optional. You can use any pattern that you want. You can use, you can even uh, use it, use it without any patterns, like a simple cube as a background, simple square. And the, at the end of the video, I show you with a different pattern, just to know how it looks like. So, what you wanna do is to connect this to the metallic node, and then we wanna blend this. With a, with a noise map, I decided to use BNW Spots 2, but just like the patterns, you can use any noise map, noise map that you want. I just disordered a bit on 0.2, and I blended with my pattern with the add sub blend node, blend mode. Yeah, sorry. Then I connected to the level and gradient map nodes. The settings for the blend map, for the level map is right here that you can see and for the gradient color I decided to use blue color for the background and orange color and a bit gray color for the the rust as you can see right here which is realistic I, I, in my opinion it's much more realistic than any other colors but you are free to use any color that you want and yeah and about the normal map the thing is I decided to use the pattern as the normal map just pattern itself not the blend not the blend node with all the with all the, these noises but you can do it too you can get a different result which is looks very nice it's like a damaged old metallic material or you can use this one which is just rust and not as damaged as the as the other result and yeah that's it that's the material but as I said I'm going to show you how it looks like to use it with other patterns And here is the result. You can use any patterns that you want. I recommend you to use polygon node or shape node. You can even use arc node. You're free to use any patterns that you want. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys like it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.